What is up guys? Gamer Dude back once again to bring you some more Telltale news. Uh, it will be again on the final season of The Walking Dead. Uh, so first things first, I want to apologise for not being active for the last few days. I've been very busy at work, I've just pulled a couple of 12 hour shifts. As you can see, I'm not really caring how I look at the moment, I am exhausted. But I'm still trying to bring you guys some great content. So if you will bear with me a second, I will get everything ready, I will get it all open, and we will work on the new news that Telltale have dropped. So, currently at the moment, uh, as many of you may know, or may not know, uh, Telltale have actually pulled from sale The Walking Dead, the final season, from all sub stores, apart from Nintendo Switch. I'm assuming there's some licensing issues with Nintendo Switch and Nintendo need to sort those out. So, it goes into detail. I've got the tweet open. I will let you know. Let's just get this ready. So, as I just said, The Walking Dead has been pulled from digital storefronts reportedly as per Telltale's request. So this could mean a number of things. It could mean that Telltale don't want any more fans to purchase the game because, you know, there's obligations and whatnot and it might not be getting finished so they don't want people to pay money and then get pissed off when, you know, they're not getting the game in general. Or it could be down to the fact that the game's just not getting finished at all and this is game over. They've pulled it from sale because that is it. Which would make a lot of sense but it really does suck for those people that have already bought it. I mean, for the people who have already purchased it, will they still get the rest of the episodes, which I think release uh, episode three is November the 5th, and episode four, the final episode, would have been December 18th. So I'm not entirely sure on that one. So Telltale, Telltale Games have released another official statement. Uh, as to why The Walking Dead, the final season, has been pulled from sale. So, sales have been halted while the company looks for a third party to help finish Clem's story. So, as I just said, it could be down to the fact that they are wanting to finish the story and they don't want anyone else to buy the game until they know for sure that somebody's going to help them finish it. But, to be honest guys, at the minute it's looking very bleak. Uh, I must apologise to you all in advance if you have bought the game. I know I have nothing to do with Telltale Games and I have no reason to apologise, but it's just, it really sucks for those that have bought the game because you've spent all this time and effort following this story, following their games from um, Game of Thrones to the Back to the Future to uh, Tales from the Borderlands, Wolf Among Us, and The Walking Dead. And now they're just not going to continue those franchises. Uh, I would have loved to see, as I said in previous video, another Guardians of the Galaxy game because I was really following that series and I really want to see how that would conclude, really, if they were going to make a series on that. Uh, but anyway, moving on. As a representative told uh, Polygon and uh, Reddit, they are currently still working on a way to hand off production of episodes 3 and 4 so that the season can be completed. So it means they are working on it, but they haven't got a solution yet. Um, the outcome of those efforts will determine when and if, they've put if in quotation marks, uh, the final season returns to online stores. So let's say in theory, it does return to the stores. They do get someone to finish it. They do release it as a full, full episode. Well, as a full season, should I say and it just goes on sale as normal and Telltale Games closes its doors after they've finished the Netflix series. I still don't understand why that's a priority compared to The Walking Dead, but I'm not one to judge. Uh, then it goes, it goes on to say that uh, the, um, they hope they can have a firm announcement before the end of the month, and for now they apologise for any inconvenience they may have caused. Uh, a day after Telltale revealed it's trying to work on completion of the remaining episodes for The Walking Dead, uh, the developer has had decided to pull the game from sales, as I said previously. Uh, the final season is no longer available for purchase on Steam or GOG either, 
and yes as I said earlier it goes into detail and saying why it's still available uh, to purchase on Nintendo uh, Nintendo Switch that is and then there's a quotation mark from Telltale themselves uh, Telltale has requested a temporary pause of sales on The Walking Dead the final season uh, for all up-to-date Telltale news, please refer to our official Twitter page. So, their official Twitter page. Um, so, basically, you've just got to keep your hand on your heart and hope for the best. You've got to try and believe that they are going to fulfil this obligation. Because when they announced it back at E3, yes, we knew the company was in trouble. Yes, we knew they had management issues. But the whole reason they've closed down, and it is really ridiculous, actually... An employee of Telltale Games actually sued them, which is why they've gone into foreclosure, basically. It's why they've gone into bankruptcy. So there's no details as to why this employer sued them. We just know that they were sued. So, um, Telltale's Twitter account hasn't made any official claims on this um, as to why they've uh, been sued. In fact, Telltale Games Twitter account has been very silent as of late. So, with the major layoffs at Telltale, as I've gone into... Uh, get my words out, Gamer Dude. As I've gone into um, detail in my previous videos, uh, the major layoffs left the company with a skeleton crew to finish off their obligations, which, as I've said previously in this video as well, uh, any future titles that they had, Wolf Among Us, Stranger Things, which I also went into detail in previous videos, uh, are now cancelled. Now, I have said this in a previous video as well, I believe Don't Nod will take the crown. I believe Don't Nod will see this as an opportunity to expand their universe from, uh, from this universe. That's Life is Strange. Now, what do you guys think about that? Do you think they're going to sell them off, sell the rights off to something else, or do you think they're just going to, even though they are closing down, do you think they're going to refuse to sell off the rights and just say, no, we still want these games branded for us, they are, well, they were our legacy, basically, and they will, they will be all we have left after we close our doors. So do let me know in the comments, I would really like to hear your feedback on that. Um, so, going into further detail about the closure, as I've uh, mentioned in this whole video, it's not clear at this stage whether the, uh, the removal of all digital sales uh, means Telltale hasn't been able to finalise a deal that will actually save the final two episodes, or the, the season's completion in general. But another thing I want to mention, which I forgot to mention in my other videos, what happens to your Telltale Games account? Will that account stay active? Because your Telltale Games account has a major part to play in your previous gameplays. Like, if you've purchased them again on PlayStation 4, if you had them on PS3 and you purchased them again on PS4, you kind of needed to for the final season anyway. But my point is, um, will your choices carry over? Because your choices are saved on Telltale Games account. I, I don't know if it will work off your saves on your actual system, because for me personally, when I bought them on a uh, physical copy on the PS4, um, it went off my Telltale Games account and not my system saves. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with that or if, um, if we're going to be able to keep it at all. But I really do hope that... Because I, 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 I was hoping to, when the final season came back out, to just replay all of them all in one go and do a complete YouTube walkthrough on all four seasons. So you can see my playthrough, my choices, and what I would do in that situation. So other than that, we really have no more information. Uh, Telltale are being rather quiet about it, if I'm honest. But honestly, guys, you can't really blame them because it is... Wow, it's, it's just hard luck, really. It's just it's just the way life goes these days. With them being sued in this modern day society that we live in, it's it's hard not it's hard for someone not to be offended by the smallest thing. Like you can you can be making a joke at work to someone, 
and they can take it the whole completely the wrong way and you can either lose your job, get fired, or it can result in a lawsuit. It's just that this society that we live in is so easily offended by the smallest things, it is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. Support, likes, comments and views. Uh, once again, I apologise for not being active the last few days. I'm just absolutely exhausted from working 12-hour shifts. Um, but I would like to give shout-outs to all my subscribers at the end of the video. Uh, so, Blazon710420, do check out his channel, guys, if you haven't already. He's also giving you updates on The Walking Dead. Uh, he's also on the gaming side of things. He does live streams on any particular game that he fancies, just in the general mood of the day, really. Uh, so do check out his channel. He's really helpful. He always talks back to new subscribers. He's always active in the chat and comments. Uh, Direct Virus as well. He's actually my cousin, so he would also appreciate any likes and support and any subscribes you would be willing to give. Um, Damien Bartlett, he's a recent subscriber to the channel. He's been so helpful to me. He's um, given my details to all of his friends. All of his friends have popped over and actually they've subscribed, so a major shout out to you, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, the AOB, I used to work with the guy. He's a sound lad. Uh, he does um, reaction videos to trailers, so uh, Avengers, Venom, things like that. He's, he also does the odd few gaming videos, so check him out if you haven't got a chance already. Uh, Monty Burns Wakey as well. He's also a family member who's my uncle. And um, uh, he does the odd live stream with me. Uh, we do collab videos on The Crew 2, Star Trek Online, and GTA Online uh, every so often. Uh, but yeah, I think that covers it for my main featured shoutouts. I will feature some more in the description below. So do check out all those channels if you get a chance. They would all be really appreciative of it. So that being said, this has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming, and I shall catch you all real soon.